I consider this very much a bill for the middle class and a bill for jobs. And jobs are produced through companies and corporations, and you see that happening. Corporations are literally going wild over this. Corporations do benefit under Trump's tax plan. So does he. Trump could get over $11 million a year under this bill, a figure that's hard to confirm because Donald Trump continues to withhold his tax returns. <laughs> Mr. President, will you answer questions for the American people? Trump headed to Mar-a-Lago today without the traditional year-end press conference, the first time a president skipped that ritual in 15 years. Donald Trump, of course, doesn't like press coverage. But it also means he didn't take any questions on this story. The Palm Beach Post exclusively reporting that he abused a tax loophole to avoid millions. Now, this may not be the story Trump wants people talking about as he heads to his second home in Florida. But the reporter who broke the story is on the beat and is going to break it down momentarily. Let's walk you through it. Uh, the highlights, though. The story shows Trump didn't just duck taxes. He did it by claiming to be charitable. The IRS has called that one of its dirty dozen scams, where a supposed act of charity is crafted to skirt IRS scrutiny. This gave Trump over five mil. And joining me is Christine Stapleton, as I mentioned, the investigative reporter for the Palm Beach Post, and Crystal Ball joins me as well. Uh, Christine, what did you find? Well, we found that in the early 1990s, President Trump was in financial trouble, and he wanted to uh, make some money off of Mar-a-Lago. He initially wanted to break it into little uh, estates, and the town, which um, wasn't really fond of him, uh, decided that they didn't want that. He came back and said, well, what about a private club? And they said, sure, if... He would agree. Uh, well, he had he had promised to um, also give a preservation easement and preserve the property. And the town said, OK, uh, we're interested in this. And uh, the problem is that these preservation easements are supposed to be charitable donations. You're not supposed to get anything in return. And the town wanted Donald Trump to put it in writing that he was going to do this. They did not trust him. And they wanted to make sure that the easement would be put in place and Mar-a-Lago would be preserved. President uh, Trump, then Donald Trump and his attorney, were, could not do that because that would show that it was a quid pro quo situation, and he got something in return for this, what was supposed to be a charitable donation. Um, and so the deal eventually went through. Without it being put in writing, the town council finally decided, look, we're not going to let you open the club. We're not going to give you a certificate of occupancy until that easement is in place. And it took two years to do that. And then they did give the uh, certificate of occupancy and the club did open up. Crystal, uh, start wherever you want to on this one. <laughs> well, Ari, sometimes people do change, but this person certainly seems to never change our president. I mean, this is all the same stuff that we've come to expect from him. Lying to serve his own purposes, bilking the federal government of millions of dollars, um, pretending to be charitable when in actuality it's all about his bottom line. And so, yes, I think he has been very good over the years at working the system. But this goes beyond, and he that's which is something that he brags about. But what Christina's great reporting points out is that this goes way beyond just working the system as it exists. This actually goes to keeping something hush-hush and misleading the federal government so that he could get millions, um, he could avoid millions in taxes that he really owed those coffers. So. One other thing I'll point out here is that, of course, in any other time, in any un other administration, this would be a major scandal. Um, but because the bar has been set so low or so high, depending on how you look at it, this is barely a bump for him and, you know, is barely gets notice of the public when it really should be a focus and a scandal that everyone is paying attention to. Uh, it's well put. And, Christine, for the final word, I'll go back to you uh, with my take on this story, which is one of the things that Donald Trump basically argued during the campaign was that to the extent he's a hustler, he would come into office and stop hustling for himself and use those same uh, hustle skills, if you will, for everyone else. I think yesterday's tax bill shows that's not really the case. He makes $11 million a year on that as well, to the extent it can be inferred uh, from the, the returns he has that, do, that have leaked. Uh, it's tilted towards top earners. Um, so, yes, if you already are like Donald Trump, if you have a billion here or there, give or take, uh, you're, you're doing well. There's no evidence, though, uh, that that hustle 
uh, is being deployed on behalf of regular uh, citizens, Christine. Yes, and I think this is particularly interesting because this is not just a case of uh, an easement he claimed, you know, 25, 30 years ago. This is his biggest form of charity that he has given in his life. Um, hmm. He has given these easements on his properties in Bedminster. He has given them on golf courses, his homes. Over $100 million he's claimed in these easements over the years. And there are, we've spoken to experts who say if he's being audited, that perhaps it's because of these uh, easements that he's given. They are under scrutiny uh, by the IRS right now, um, and we don't know if it's uh, President Trump is the target of these, but he has certainly used these repeatedly over the years as his biggest form of charity. Right, and, and you mentioned the IRS. It reminds me of what some other experts have said on, on this very show and elsewhere, which is what the IRS has on, on Donald Trump, Bob Mueller, uh, has likely already obtained. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.